Good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as I said in the previous video, I shall do an unboxing of the Academy 135 scale German King Tiger last production. Let's see where the box next. Just have a slurp of tea, sorry, mouth's a bit dry. As you can see, cheese bees. Um, yeah, sorry. The last production tank from Academy. Nice box art. Really nice box art. I do like that. A burnt out Sherman there, by the looks of it. It's been knocked out. A couple of figures there. I think the figures come with the kit, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the usual box fair. On the side we have the. Uh, yes, yeah, so the figures are there, by the looks of it. We have the finished model kit. A little bit of PE in there with it as well. It's quite nice. On the end, just the same as on the uh, on the front. And on the other side, just giving you a paint index and a bit of writing in all sorts of languages. It says skill level four, so it's you know not too bad, not too bad at all. And the kit number is one three two two nine, which is on the back of that box. You can see that. There we go. So, without further ado, I'll just do my normal, take a lid off, and let's see what we've got. It's quite heavy, it's quite tightly packed as well. And the feel of it, the lid off. There we go. I think it's one of the later kits, is uh, this. I don't know how old it is. I don't think it's too old, but we'll check on the sprues if I can't see it on here. No, it doesn't say on here. No, just made in Korea. No, oh, no production here. It says it's 288 millimeters long by 98 millimeters wide. We'll look on the sprue, see if we can find any any um, dates. So I'll just have another slip of tea while we get the first uh, bag out. I'll just move the box over here so we can. We can start. So let's have a look what we've got. Oh, yeah, I can't find my knife. So I was missing. I'll pop that in there. So as you can see, this this uh, first brew has the uh, where we are the photo etch for the grills. Quite nice, and there's a gun, gun couple of gun sights. Um, looks like a couple of handles or something like that. Check as we go out and we lock and this says it was made in... No, nope. doesn't even give me a date on that. I'll have to look on the sprue. So as you can see we have the uh, upper hull and a few of the uh, the tools and tow cable and all that kind of stuff. It's nicely moulded, nice plastic again. Nice, uh, yeah, nice, nicely done. Not much, did not much, you know, no cast texture or anything like that. But we can add things to it to make it look good. The fenders are already attached on these, that makes it a bit easier to uh, battle damage them. I think. You know, the rear engine deck, and then we say we just have some bits and pieces. Um, you know, for the uh, air intake, I think. Some little bits and pieces. You get the wrench, the hammer. Uh, I, think that, I think that's the uh, starter handle, if I'm not mistaken. The jack box. A couple of uh, tow eyes. Obviously, so the cable to go into. And then we have the other tow cable again to go along the sides of the tank. Looks nicely, nicely moulded. A little bit of flash, I think. Is that flash? On. No, no, it isn't at all. It's just the way it's been moulded. Or oh, flash, just my maybe eyesight. There we go. There's a little touch on the inside, as you can see, but a quick scrape with a knife, and that's off. It's quite nicely detailed as well. So that's the first sprue. Let me just have what it says on the any date. There's nothing on here at all. Didn't even tell what uh, oh, sprue C. There's no date, so 
which is a bit unusual, but there we go. Let's just pop that back in there so it doesn't get bent or misshapen. Right, and the next sprue, we have two in this bag. We have the, uh, the turret, which is nicely moulded again. Nice little bit of detail on the top, the hatches, you know, and on the side we have the uh, things for the uh, spare tracks. There we go, not much texture on there at all, quite plain. It's, it, there's a little bit, if you look, there's a little bit, but you, you know, you'll probably lose that when you paint it. But we'll remedy that, I would think. I might even do, you know, more zim in it, but there's no zim in it on this one, so I'm not too sure. With uh, two different kind of gun mantlets, so I must be able to do a couple of variants with it. Um, we have two, we have two, two bottoms of the hull. Oh, sorry, of the turret. We have that one there and that one there, and then obviously we have the nice. Uh, Teeth on the uh, turret ring itself, which is uh, nicely moulded. Really nice detail, pity you can't see it, but there you go. So there's not any flash, I haven't come across any flash so far on this sprue. It's just obviously a yeah, sprue air, but still no date. I'll have to look into what date this was made. That's the bottom of the uh, turret as well, I think. It must be. The lid. Oh, it's quite a nice detail on the rivet heads on there, or bolt heads. Uh, a few more of the hatch covers, commander's cupola, nicely moulded again, no, no injection marks, nothing at all, and on the rear, we have the injection marks as normal on the rear, but there's no point in doing anything with them, you're not going to see them, you know, what's the point in uh, mourning about them and you're not going to see them, that's nicely detailed again. Nice so far, it's a nice looking little kit for the price. And it isn't a bathtub um, hull, it's uh, you know, a put together one. But I was looking at somebody else online, they said it really almost snaps together. So that's nice in detail again. That's on the inside, so it looks like you're going to put um, torsion bars through. And that's, uh, that's the front, which is nicely detailed again. On the I say most of it should be covered in yeah, with the uh, side skirts and the and the weathering. There again, nicely detailed little parts and of the uh, there's the machine gun mantlet. It's that two different, uh, two or just a variant of uh, variants. I'll have to check as we go along with find the destructions. Obviously, some small little bits and pieces, some uh, lifting hooks. Uh, have to be careful taking them off and lose them straight into the carpet. And then we have the shackles. Uh, I think this is probably for the. Uh, looks like for the uh, transmission, a part of a transmission cover to go for the um, sprocket. I'll double check that later on again when we go through the instructions. So I get nicely moulded again. Novel numbered clearly. So. Yeah, so that's another sprue. So they're quite nice. And then we get to the wheels. It looks a hell of a lot of wheels there again. Hopefully, I think it's for two variants again. I really check these things before I. Uh, but like I say, I just open the box and see what's in there. As we do, we say this is all just. There's two sprockets. There's two sprockets. There's two. Um, Sprue is exactly the same, obviously with the with the uh, the wheels, which I have to say are nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. A couple of small bits and pieces again, but uh, the wheels are really nicely detailed. Really are. And that's that side. Let's have a look on the reverse. Obviously, there's nothing on the reverse because you're uh, you're not going to see them. They'll be glued together. 
Oh, it doesn't bother me. So there's two of them, so plenty wheels. Plenty wheels. As you do on King Tigers and Tigers and Panthers and with the overlapping system. But they're used. Oh god, thirsty this morning. Or even this afternoon. Yep, yeah, and then we have uh, another two screws in this bag which are the same. As right here we have torsion bars. Excuse me, let's just pop that piece off. Yeah, we have some uh, torsion bars. Quite nice. And then we have the uh, idler wheel. Okay, let's go the wrong way. Idler wheel, and there's the transmission. So it wasn't, I don't know, that must be for the uh, part I showed you for. It must be for the idler. And then we have, obviously, it's for the wheels, the outer case of the outer things of the wheels. Yeah, nice. I'll be able to do the, uh, might just make a difference. I'll do the, the metal rim again, like I did on the last King Tiger I made with the metal polish that Joe kindly sent me, Jump Draws model kits. That's really nice stuff. I recommend people getting that. It really, it really is good stuff and you hardly use anything. But there again, nice, nicely detailed again. So far, I'm very happy with the kit. I say, I think it was £24, I think I paid some from uh, Korea, and it came within 10 days. So, you know, I'd rather do that and spend maybe double that and uh, still wait just about the same time in England to buy it. And then we have the tracks which are link and length, which look quite nicely detailed. These tracks, I was by reading, I was reading about it. These are the transport tracks. They actually transported them on and they've left them on there. So, as you can see, they're a lot, not lot narrower than the normal uh, tigers, king tiger tracks. But as you see, they're nicely detailed. There we are, nicely detailed. Plenty depth on them, yeah, and the individual ones are nice as well. Right, let's have a look on the backs. There's, there's a couple of injection marks, every other one, but they're very, very shallow, so I'll probably be able to uh, sand them out. The same again on the uh, individual tracks, there's a couple. Maybe you can make them out. Uh, but I was thinking, because I have another spare set of the King Tiger Lake production tracks, um, I'll put them again. Normal, Mr. Ali, all organised. Not so. I use these. I used them in the last Tiger Builder build, and they're quite good. I think I paid seven pound. And the links are quite nice. They're all individually uh, um, on sprues. But as you can see, I want to show you last time the minimal cleanup. So it's something only two. Um, Two things to take off each one. It's not left and right, yes, yeah, so it is left and right. Uh, but it will be easy to do. Just sat there just one afternoon, last Saturday I think it was, when uh, when the other ones arrived. And I just while well, watching the television just just cleaned them all up. So sorry, yes, my mouth is very, very dry this morning, so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use these to these. I'm unsure, I'll have to read into it and to see if any of the presume they did because it says late production tracks on there. Let's check something on the. Let me have a check myself. Yeah, this is on the. Uh, you can see on the um, the sprocket there. That's a 18 teeth sprocket, where the other ones are sometimes only nine, so they'll fit them tracks perfectly without having to add the uh, extra. Teeth. Right, and then we're going to the last sprue, so not a lot, not a lot of plastic, but you know, there's plenty, there's enough, there's enough for good details. Right, and then we uh, 
of the fenders, uh, the lower lower part of the uh, the hull, with the you know few hatches and things and covers to get into certain parts of the tank. It's nicely moulded again, and it's pretty flat. A little bit of warp, not much, not much at all. But once we get them together, we'll pull it all together. And then we have the side skirts again, which I'll probably use. The you know, we might even just not put them on. I don't know. We'll see when we get to it. And then we have the uh, the front of the tank. It's got a little bit of texture. I can just feel it a bit rough, but it's very, very faint. That's for the obviously for the uh, mantlet for the machine gun. Oh, sorry, the uh, front cover. And there's the machine for the machine gun. And then we have the rear, which is uh, you know things to add to it. Obviously the exhaust pipes and bits and pieces. So it'll, wear, it'll come up nicely. And then we have uh, some small guns, which is a shame because if you look at them closely. I see these flashes in there. If you look at them closely, where the uh, let me bring them in a bit closer if I can. Let me put my hand behind there. See where the uh, trigger is. All it's a bit of flash inside there to clean up. Quite difficult. I have to get a small file and just file them out. But uh, or I might. I think I've got some other machine gun somewhere which you I'll probably use. That's a shame. But there you go. There's, uh, Can't have everything. There's the uh, covers for the uh, exhausts, and there's the exhausts, which presumably will be drilled out at the end. Yep. Focus, focus, come on. Come on, focus, bugger. No, it's not going to focus, is it? But they are drilled out. They're drilled out. So that's another sprue. I'm still, you know, can't really complain apart from <coughs> a little bit of flash on them. But yeah, I should be able to clean them up. Not going to be as bad as I thought. Not going to be as bad as I thought. Right, and the final part, final sprue, we've got the uh, the barrel, which is slide slide moulded barrel, which is quite nice. Now obviously you've got two par for the inside the uh, inside the turret as well. So there's just two par, that's a single and there's the other part of it. I think is it? No, I just don't know what that is. But there again, I'd probably use a metal barrel, I'm not too sure, but it's, I don't need to. No, I won't need to because this is slide moulded and this lot of this will be hidden in the uh, in the uh, turret. But there again it's only it's gonna be easy to take them. See, there's only them seam lines, and there's a couple of little marks, but we should be able to sort that out. Shouldn't be a problem. And then we have some small bits and pieces. Uh, I'm sure what that part is at the back. I'll have to look for that. If you want to the destructions. And a lot of little, numerous little bits and pieces. There again, nicely moulded, nice and fresh, crisp. And there's another. There's the, uh, the front of the uh, the front of the turret, which is the. Uh, Heinchel version of it, but I, I believe I may be wrong. Like I said, I think they were both made by Krupp. So you know, some people don't like calling it the uh, Porsche turret or the uh, Krupp, or sorry, or the Heinchel turret. But that's only been you know. I'm the only going what it says on the boxes. So I don't really, really know. And then we have the figures, parts of the figures, which don't look too bad at all. You know, torso is into two is in two parts. But yeah, quite a nicely detail. I see he's got his uh, grenade in his belt. Quite nicely detailed. There's a gun again with that one that's better, that's a better one. It's actually got the hand moulded round the gun, which is I've never seen that before. You can see that. Just cool. Yeah, you see it more around the around the gun uh, barrel. A little bit of flash on the helmet, I think. Is it is it flash or is it just my eyesight? 
No, it's the uh, it's like a, a cover on his ha on his helmet. You can see that like a cover, which is nice. Never seen that. A nice texture on that actually. Well, lovely on a wash with a wash on top of that. And obviously, the arms and legs of the other one. So there's two crew members. Yeah, looks all nice. There's the faces. Got the uh, earphones right round. It's a shame, but sometimes uh, I like it when you can put them on separately. Makes it a bit easier to paint the faces. So let's have a look at the face. If we can get the face into shot better than uh, where have we gone? Where has he gone? There he is. Come on. As you can see, he's yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, he's got his hat on and things you won't really see, but say there's a few little small bits and pieces. They're all part of the figures. There's the helmet again, you can see it's got a cover on top of it. Machine gun again, and there's the other top part of the torso, so it's the same one. We need to go to the other side for the other torso, which is there. It's in two parts again, but you know, nicely detailed, nice creases. And actually a bit of texture on the actual uh, uniform. A little bit of flash on the legs or seam, seam lines, but we always get that on figures and they're not they're very easy to clean off. So it shouldn't be a problem. So that's okay. the end of the sprues. So, but so you know, I'm quite impressed with that little kit. I'm sure it'll build up into a uh, better little model. And then we have the decal sheet. Which is... Uh, It's cartograph as well, so it's decent quality stuff. And then we have the, uh, you know, for the there we are. We have for the uh, splinter pattern for the army, or we can have the M44P pattern for Waffen SS. Mm -hmm. Presume they're for the figures. And the other side, we have all the little dots on the layer production tank. I think there was only this one that actually had these things on. So these are apparently all these little circles are all individual. Uh, Transfer decals and transfers, whatever you want to call them. It'll be interesting to do. And obviously, have a couple of markings with the uh, and a few numbers. But yeah, that's going to be. It's going to be. I'll try doing this. As like say, John said they didn't work, and they did work to a certain degree. So I'll have to uh, look into that. But let's say the other side. It's going to be interesting to put all them on individually. But, you know, we've got the box art and the, uh, I'm sure we'll have a nice colour co colour call out, hopefully, in the box. So, so there should be nice decals in the cartograph, so they should be nice. Right, and then we get to the, uh, the destructions. So we have two, two booklets. Just the one. Oh, I thought it would be a booklet, but it isn't a booklet. Start at here. Our well, first page there. Is it? Oh, oh, sorry, that's why. So we have a little bit of uh, oh, some other kits. The Hertz uh, Lay Production, which I do have in my stash, and the Tiger Early version, which me, Jack, and uh, Paul are going to do with a full interior. So that's a kit which will be started sometime within the week, I would think. So looking forward to because I've never built a kit with uh, full interior before. Apparently it's not accurate, but it's, it's good enough for me. You know, all of the river counters will be coming out saying this is TV, this that wasn't there, this is wrong. I don't give a excuse my language. Shit, what they think. I really haven't got no time for people like that at all. I need to do modelling. I make my tank how I feel as if it should be made for me, not for them. So Sodom. So uh, that's that, and there's a screw map, only the reverse of it. You know, the usual fare. I'm going to look on here see if there's any dates. Actually on the, uh, there's the cat. What a shame, I thought we'd have a pull a call out. Come on then, you know, you, you know, you so good and know I'm here, don't you? In you come. He's in Bella this time, it's a test this one. So it's gonna be it's a shame of the colour and colour, but there you're giving you uh, you know the call outs and where to put the decals. 
Yes. And after, which is quite nice. There were two variants, which I said yeah, it was quite nice again. Those are the ones. It's just a pity they aren't, uh, you know, coloured. There's the out uh, the uh, Tiger Ouch B third Platz ABT 511 Kessel Kessel Germany May 1945. The only King Tiger in a very unique octopus scheme. I was right. What do you want to come over here in a minute then? And then the other one is the Tiger House B again. I can't even pronounce that. Regenhausen, Germany 1945. So I'll get two variants, but I think the octopus one will be quite an interesting one to do. So that's that. And then we come to the instructions, which is a booklet form, thank goodness. And on the front, we have a picture again of the, uh, the build, and then we have the colour call outs. For life colour, Humbrol, Testers, Revel, Vallejo, and Gris Greos, whatever they're called. Sorry, Mr. Colour, Life Colour, and I can't quite read the bottom of the one there. But, uh, yeah, so you want out again now? You don't like your sister, are you? You know, never be out, me, and then out. Right, so we, uh, I'll just move this box out of the way. So we have a little bit of, you know, the usual fare, uh, read this before you begin and one thing and another. So presumably we start off as normal with, oh, no we don't, so as normal. We start off building the turret first, which is a bit different. And there we have the uh, mantlet, a lot of it goes into the tank, a bit of the mantlet to be made up. Very straightforward, nice big, uh, nice large diagram, which is nice and they say they're not too complicated, they're all spread out nicely. Oh, that seems to be nice. And then we have. Oh, didn't break it. That's terrible, you say, aren't it? And then we start carrying on with the. Uh, inside the inside the, uh, the breech for the gun, sorry, not mantlet. And then we. Uh, start building the front of the, front of the, the turret up. And when the turret rings, so there's them three parts all together, so the, I was wrong. There isn't two different bottoms. There's only the one. It's quite nice though. Yeah, uh, finishing the breech off there. And then we're starting to put all the little bits and pieces on. The hatches and the little tow hook, the little hooks that hold the spare tracks. Commander's cupola. Well, excuse me, a part of it. And then there's another sub-assembly for the hatches, one thing enough for the rear, you know, rear of the turret. I wonder if we can make it, then we can make it open. If I uh, but if we've got the breach in there, I would have do something and have the shells being thrown out the back, which I did on a panther. I try and fancy try doing that, and then we start off with the rest of the uh, finish off with the rest of the gun. And there's the commander's cupola, it's all in bits, many many bits, and the uh, the machine gun, which is fairly simple. It's in two parts, so it's not too bad. Commander's Cooper looks quite an interesting one to build up. It's not Dragon, but it's uh, you know a bit different. All the individual things. Interesting. And then we have start on the lower hull again, and then we have the uh, obviously the uh, couple of callouts for the uh, tank commander and. The Waffen SS in it and gives you the office. Here we are. Use decals, cut appropriate sizes. Gonna be a hell of a job to do that. But we'll give it a whirl, we'll see what happens. We'll give it a go. Well, John had a go at it, but, uh, he didn't like him, so he uh, hand painted him and it probably came out better than, uh, than the decals did. If I remember right, they were very nice, them, John, when you finished them. And then we start another low hole. So we're doing things in the reverse on this kit. You know, the engine covers, all the lifting highs and bits and pieces. The driver's uh, hatch and the uh, radio operator's hatch and bow gunner. And put some more hatches and things on and the uh, covers for the uh, air intake or whatever it is. I never remember. And then the mantlet for the machine gun put together. And there's the 
build again for the machine gun, which is uh, an interesting thing again. It's all in, you know, so there's a bit of detail in there. You're building the whole gun and then you're shoving it away so you can't see it, which is a shame. But uh, we'll see how we get along with that, see if we can make a bit of detail in the uh, inside the turret. So I had light over the hatch open and uh, the shells, the shell casing is being thrown out. And then obviously a bit more of the hull work, the uh, tow cables, shovels, spades, all that kind of stuff. And then we start off by making the uh, the low hull, like I say. It's in three pieces and we have some, uh, looks like some strengthening parts. So like a firewall which for the, you know, the engine. And then we have all the torsion bars to put in and the transmission and the uh, little bits that go on the front. And for the idler wheel, now we have the assembly of the wheels. So, note, note the directions. Ah, yes, yeah. it's for the uh, if you look at the wheels closely on the front, on the outside of the wheel, is um, slightly raised from the center. And there we go, it's telling you there. And the uh, inside is slightly in index, what do you call it? Well, it's it's different. <laughs> it's, it isn't as uh, pronounced pronounced on the front as it is on the back. So the other way around, sorry. Mm. But yeah, it gives you clear instructions. Again, not direction. Again, it's just telling you that. It tells you. It doesn't tell you how many to make though. Is it times? You know, there's no times number on there, is that? No. So presumably you just got to think about that one. Yeah, and then we get to actually look. Uh, Putting the wheels onto the uh, onto the onto the lower hull. Like I say, I won't be doing that. I'll take all the wheels and build them up separately and uh, spray them that way, and then place them on the other end, which I normally do. Same with the guide, uh, with the sprocket and the idler wheel at the back. All the little bits and pieces, little grommets are going to uh, keep the wheels on. And then we have the uh, start of the tracks. Like I say, I probably won't use these. I'm going to look into it. I probably won't use. I'm not too sure. Well, we'll have a look anyhow. And there's sponsons in there as well too. Uh, so you don't look. There's no bleeding of a light to come through the turret if you have it open. And then we have the <coughs> putting the uh, PE on the uh, on the grills. One thing and another, and the, the light, all the bits and pieces, and say all the individual little builds on the side with the grab handles and the exhausts and the exhaust cover. And then we have a little thing for the rear. So it's fairly simple as the jack, and there's no jack, I haven't seen the jack yet. There's a finished turret, and the turret goes to the lower hole. So I'm going to see if I can make something so we can, uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, Think about that one. So that's number 13, 15, is, and then we come into. I hate these things because you can never, never get them. Is that it? 14, 15. Yeah, that's the uh, last part, it's 15 is posi position in the, uh, the turret. I say I've seen no jack. Is there a jack? The, the jack box is there. There's a jack box in the uh, in the plastic, but there's no jack. There's no jack box being positioned on there either. A bit strange. Unusual. And that's the last. Uh, the last part.